Hello and welcome to Tutoring Potential. Today we are going to be covering the 2014 Geometry End of Course Exam Part B. Oh, I left my title card, which is starting with number 12. Number 12 reads. Triangle ABC will be reflected over the x-axis to create triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Then triangle A prime, B prime, C prime will be reflected over the dashed line, which is y equals negative 3, to create triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. Which single transformation will have the same effect on the figure? So if I want to reflect this in one step, to here, how do I do that? Well, if I reflect A, B, C over the X axis, what I do is I keep the X coordinate and I make the sign of the Y coordinate the opposite. So A prime will be two, negative two. B prime will be four, negative two. C prime will be two, negative three. That brings me down here. <clears throat> now I reflect it across this line. Uh, a, I'm sorry, C will, will stay the same because what I do is I'm, I'm moving it, well, A double, A, A double prime will be two units down, B double prime will be two units down, and C will stay the same because it's on the line. So one transformation is shifting the entire triangle down six units. And they use this notation. Oh, is that on there? X, Y becomes X. You don't change the X value. The Y value, you will subtract 6 from it. will shift the figure down 6 units. An artist has prepared a plan for a work of art made, for diff made f of different colors of fabric shown below. In the plan, each grade square is one inch by one inch. The actual work of art will be an enlargement of the plan. The dilation used to produce the enlargement. Enlargement is a dilation with a scale factor greater than one. We'll have the origin as its center and the scale factor will be 24. How many square feet of blue fabric will be used to create the actual work of art? Alright, so I'm just looking at blue. Just looking at you, blue, and I have one, two, Three, four, five, it's a six, six square by four square. So each is a square inch, so that's six by four. And I'm not I'm not sure if that's gonna come in at all. Six by four. Scale factor is twenty-four. Twenty-four times six is hundred and forty-four. Twenty-four times four is ninety-six. So How many square feet of blue fabric will be used to create the actual measure of art? Six by four. Oh, uh, because I'm in feet, that's what's happening. This is 144 inches divided by 12 inches equals one foot. We have to watch our measurements. Another one bites the dust. So what happens is I have 12 feet by 8 feet. 96 inches is 8 feet. So then, and then 12 times 8 will be 96 square feet. Otherwise we're in square inches. All right. Slow me down a little bit. In the, in the equilateral triangle shown below, B is the length of one side, which could be used to find the area of the triangle. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this altitude. I've drawn it here. What I get is I get 2, 30, 60, 90, degree right triangles and the ratio of the sides are x, x root 3, 2x so 
what happens is across from the 30 is x which is b over 2. Here's b over 2. Across from the 30 is b over 2. Across from the 60 is b root 3 over 2. Uh, this this one is, is this one. I mean these are congruent but it's this one. So across from a 30 is one half of B. If this is B, this altitude, because this is an equilateral triangle, will, will this will be the midpoint of that segment. So the height is B root 3 over 2. That's what I need from, from this. That's what I need, B root 3 over 2. So it's one half, the area of the whole triangle is one half the base, B, times the height, B root 3 over 2. So the two twos on the, in the denominator would be 4 and that's b tends to be as b squared root 3 over 4 b squared root 3 over 4 choice a a square inscribed in a circle with radius 3 inches is shown below what is the perimeter of the square to the nearest inch if the radius is 3 then the diameter is 6 which here's the diameter it's also the diagonal of the square so this is 6 this is a 45 45 90 right triangle, ratio of the sides, x, x, x root 2. So the diagonal x root 2 is equal to 6, divided by root 2. x is equal to 6 over root 2. What I do is multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 to rationalize the denominator, 6 root 2 over 2, which is 3 root 2. And the perimeter will be 4 times s. The perimeter of a square is 4 times the length of the side. 4 times 3 root 2 is 12 root 2. To the nearest inch is 17 inches. On the coordinate grid below, ABCD is a rectangle. Which of the following rectangles is similar to ABCD? Okay. A, B, C, D. Well, it's not going to be D, F, H, G because that's the same. It's just that's longer with the same height. So what I do is I take A, B is 8 units. A, D is 4 units. So this is 8 by 4, right? 8 by 4. So that will reduce to 2, two to 1. The long side is twice the short side. And when I get to C, B, E, F, this is a... 4 by 2, 4 units by 2 units, reduces to 2 to 1. That ratio of the sides is the same. That's what makes a similar uh, rectangle, similar figure, uh, or triangle. So in this case, CBEF will be similar to ABCD. In a pinch, you kind of eyeball that one and choose the best answer. To prove ABCD is a rhombus, Marissa must show the diagonals of the parallelogram below are perpendicular. Which of the following are the slopes of the diagonals of the parallelogram ABCD? Well, I have BD and I have AC. The slope BD is Y2 minus Y1, uh, BD negative 6 minus 2 over X2 minus X1, 5 minus 3 negative 8 over 2 which is negative 4. Once I get that I'm going to choose that answer and move on. So if I were on a test that would be it. That's all I would do. Once I get AC um, similarly it'll be 1 fourth which is the opposite of the reciprocal. Okay, That's what makes the diagonals perpendicular. Their slopes are the opposite of the reciprocal. That's the sort of takeaway from this question. Also, none of these others have the slopes the opposite of the reciprocal. So I could just, without doing this, I could look at these and say, okay, these are opposite of the reciprocal. So that's going to be my answer. Uh, but what, make, what makes this problem, um, a one shortcoming of it is, you know, if they just said prove that ABCD is um, a rhombus. Well, I could, if I didn't know this, I could still prove that each, that the, two pairs were parallel and I could prove with the distance formula that all four sides were equal and that would do it. Um, but they don't give us that option. You can't do that in a multiple choice test.
All right, what's the kind of, let's see what time I'm working with here. Plenty of time. Figure A, B, C, D is a trapezoid with bases A, B, and D, C. Bases A, B, and D, C. The big one. Oops. Point E is the midpoint of A, D, and point F is the midpoint of B, C. Trapezoid has an area of 35 square units, and E, F is 7 units. Using the information above, Lydia wrote the following equations to determine the height of the trapezoid. I wrote the formula for the height of a trapezoid. One half the height times the sum of the bases. Z times X minus Y over 2. Well, let me just go here. What information makes it possible for her to replace X minus Y over 2 with 7 when going from step 1 to step 2? What, what it's saying is this because E is the midpoint of DA and F is the midpoint of BC, EF is what's called the mid-segment of the trapezoid, so that 7 will be the will be the average of the lengths A, B, and D, C. Why, why did they why did they use Z? I'm not sure. I I don't know. I don't know why they use Z. But the reason I can replace X that should be should be x plus y over 2. I don't know about my cop. No, it says x minus y over 2. I think that's a misprint. I think that's a misprint because you would have to average these and divide by 2. So I think that's got to be plus. I think that's, I'm not sure, maybe it's just my copy. That's got to be plus. Uh, Mid-segment of a trapezoid. Let me show you what I wrote out. Because DE equals EA, EF is a mid-segment of trapezoid ABCD, the length of the mid-segment must be the average of the two bases. And that's because of triangle similarity, right? Here's your trapezoid, right? If I finish to a point, extend these to a point A, I'll get similar triangles AGB, AFC, and AED. And the ratio of the sides are equal. It's got to be plus. It's got to be a misprint. All right, this one's a little, a little strange too. Four sculptures must be placed in an art gallery. The gallery floor is rectangular and is 10 by 8. The coordinate grid represents the gallery floor. They show D, E, and F. G is the fourth, is the position of the fourth sculpture. It's going to make D, E, F, G a rhombus. Skipping down here. The coordinate of D is AB. The coordinate of E is the Y coordinate of E is B plus two. So this this is two, and the X coordinate is A plus six. The X coordinate of F is A plus six. So this distance is six, and that distance is two. What should be the G coordinate? All right. Well, half of six is three. A plus three and B minus 2. A plus 3, B minus 2. I'm going 3 to the right from A, and the coordinate of D is AB, so I'm going down just 2, just 2 from B. A plus 3, B plus 2. So what we do is we plot point G on the graph directly under E, Find the values for A and B, and then write the coordinates of G in terms of A and B. For those who like uh, the problems right now. Okay. I don't think I can do this one in 30 seconds, so we're going to go ahead and cut the video here. Start with 20, as always. Thanks for watching. Please comment, uh, ask questions in the section below. Uh, thanks again.